Hi, it's Ryan, ADHD dude. So executive functioning or executive function skills is an umbrella term to describe the processes that occur in the prefrontal cortex part of the brain. Sometimes executive functioning is called the management system of the brain. I explain it to kids as the operating system of the brain because they tend to understand what that means because of video games and computers and so on. This is a topic that has a tremendous amount of depth to it, so I'm just going to cover the basics here. ADHD is a developmental delay in executive functioning. So sometimes I hear parents say, my son has ADHD and executive function disorder, or they'll say something like, my son has ADHD and executive dysfunction. And I wanna clarify, anybody who has ADHD has lagging executive function skills. Sometimes it can appear that they do not if they're really motivated and learn how to compensate for that early, but essentially ADHD is lagging executive function skills. A kid with ADHD has a two to three year delay in their executive functioning, meaning that a seven year old has the executive function skills of a four or five year old. A 13 year old's executive functioning age is between 10 and 11, and a 19 year old's executive functioning age is about 16. And one of the things I always say for those of you who have older adolescents is, you know, think about in regards to college, would you send a 16 year old off to college? Probably not. That's something you have to take into consideration when you're planning for post high school options. Your expectations for your son or daughter need to be at their executive function age in order to help them improve their executive function skills through changing the way you use language and implementing strategies to build skills and cultivate independence. The earlier you start this, the better. I want you to understand that kids cannot improve their executive function skills on their own through watching a webinar or reading a book. Parents have to create the scaffolding and they have to change the way they use language if they want to see actual improvement in their child's executive function skills. There's a few important things about executive functioning I want you to know. Executive functioning is a topic that is poorly understood both by educators and mental health professionals. As a result, lagging executive function skills often appear behavioral in nature to the untrained eye. Counseling or talk therapy is not going to address lagging executive function skills. I can speak for myself as a licensed mental health professional and certified school social worker. I received no education about executive functioning. Everything I learned came from me seeking out training outside of the mental health field and integrating this into my unique approach called the ADHD Dude Methodology. The main areas of executive functioning that are impacted by ADHD include, number one, difficulty with self-directed talk or what I refer to with kids as their brain coach. We all have an internal dialogue in our head we use to talk to ourselves. What I explain to kids is that when somebody's brain works with ADHD, the volume on their brain coach is turned down too low if it's something that's not interesting to them. But if it's something that is interesting to them, then the volume on their brain coach is just fine. Number two, visualizing the future, which I call future thinking skills. The actual term for this is nonverbal working memory. Kids with ADHD have difficulty with future thinking skills, which is why saying things like, if you do all your chores this week, you can have extra video game time this weekend, doesn't work. The time horizon is too far into the future for them, so that reward just feels abstract. If your daughter has ever done her homework but forgot to hand it in, it's because she wasn't visualizing herself handing in the homework. If your son just sits there in the morning when he's getting ready for school and you have to prompt him to go through every step, Part of the reason why is he's not picturing himself doing the next step. I do teach a strategy for this in my Executive Function Crash Course for Parents webinar series that focuses on helping parents move kids from prompt dependence towards independence. Number three, sensing the passage of time. If your son ever lacks a sense of urgency, if he ever spends more time complaining about doing a chore than the chore will actually take, the reason for that is because he has difficulty sensing the passage of time. I teach a strategy to help teach kids how to feel time in the Executive Function Crash Course webinar series, and parents report that they have excellent results with it. Please know that typical strategies recommended to parents, such as timers, hanging checklists up around the house, using the red countdown timer, are not going to help your son or daughter learn how to sense the passage of time or improve their executive function skills. Number four. Ability to sustain attention to non-preferred tasks or subjects. One of the biggest misconceptions about ADHD is that it's difficulty paying attention, which is not accurate. When someone with ADHD finds something interesting, they can fully pay attention and even notice details that other people might not notice. That can really help them in life, particularly when they find a career path that works for them. 
Also, they often have difficulty transitioning from a preferred task to a non-preferred task. So if your son ever gets really upset with you and starts yelling when you tell him to get off video games, that's not a behavior issue, that's an executive functioning issue. He wasn't prepared for the transition from the preferred to non-preferred task. This is also something I teach in the Executive Function Crash Course series with amazing results. I want you to know that intelligence has nothing to do with executive functioning, so please don't say things to your child with ADHD like, you're so smart, why do you always forget to hand in your homework? It's also not helpful to say things like, think before you act, because you're telling him or her to do something that their brain isn't capable of doing yet. It's natural for parents of kids with ADHD to act as their child's executive functioning. However, this creates prompt dependence, meaning that kids become over-dependent on their parents to act as their executive functioning instead of learning how to use their own. The problem with this is that it can further delay the development of executive function skills in my experience. In many cases, kids with ADHD learn that if they act helpless, things will be done for them. I'm very grateful that on a weekly basis, parents reach out to me to tell me how the strategies I teach have made life so much easier at home for them, has reduced the nagging, the arguing, and most importantly, it helps their kids feel more capable. Please know that it's never too late to help your son or daughter improve their executive function skills and develop independence. And when kids realize their abilities and they realize they're able to do tasks independently, it builds their confidence. I have a lot of videos on executive functioning for parents as well as kids, so please make sure to check out the executive function playlist. My videos for kids are in the Dude Talk playlist. You can also check out my articles and posts at the ADHD Dude and Trip Camp Facebook page. And when you're ready to make life easier at home and help your son or daughter improve their executive function skills, please check out the ADHD Dude membership site and my website ADHDDude.com. I hope you found this helpful and I'll look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.